Hello, my most amazing artist. So this week we're gonna be doing something that is super cool and I am very excited about it. We are gonna learn about the artist Jen Stark and we are going to learn how to make our own trip drawings inspired by her. So Jen Stark is a contemporary artist that is known for making big installation pieces. An installation art is artwork that is used to fill up like a whole space. So maybe it would be a whole room full of a certain design or artwork. And she would make these designs that look like paint that is dripping from the ceiling or from the walls. And she would do so with a lot of bright colors and some in black and white. So we are going to actually go on her website first and I'm gonna show you some of her drip designs and then we will learn to make our own. So let's go look at her website. So now we are on Jen Stark's website that has pictures of different artwork she's created. And this particular piece here is what inspired the project that we're doing. So you can see it has the bright colored drips and the black and white drips that are overlapping. And they're overlapping to show contrast to make them stand out. So you can really see the shapes of the drips. So this one's really cool. And this is painted with acrylic paint on a wooden panel. I think it's really interesting how the panels actually cut out to look like a paint splatter. So let's take a look at another one. So here's another acrylic piece that's on a wooden panel. So you can see it has all just bright colored drips. This one's really cool and it even continues around the side of the wooden panel. Look at a closer look of it. Very interesting. We'll take a look at one more and this next one is one of my favorites. So here it is. So this piece is kind of like an optical illusion. So it looks like you're kind of going and circling down into a wormhole. And I like that it kind of has this once again the kind of drip shape but then it changes into different shapes the farther you go down into the wormhole and what's interesting about this piece is it is actually marker on paper like that's crazy looks amazing so now let's discuss the project so for this project all you will need is paper pencil a permanent marker if you have one and any sort of crayons markers and colored pencils to color with and a pair of scissors if you have one. So let's get started on learning how to make our very own Jen Stark inspired drips. Hello everybody. So today I'm super excited because we're going to make a Jen Stark inspired artwork. So you will need a paper and a sharpie. If you don't have a sharpie, an ink pen will work or even, you know, one of the permanent marker pens. But I'm going to use a sharpie. So we are going to find a spot towards the top of our paper. And we're going to make some drips. So to do that, they'll be kind of like curved lines that go down and up. So I'm going to pick a spot. So I'll pick about here. And take it nice and slow. Draw a curved line that goes down, back up, down, and back up. And now we have our first drip. So I'm going to find a spot to make a second one. So I think I'll start about here. Doing the same thing. Drawing a curved line that goes down and back up. Okay. Now I think I'll add one more towards the bottom of my paper. Just doing the same thing. Now we're going to work on one drip at a time for this part. So I'm going to start with the first one that I drew. And what we are going to do is we are um, going to outline the area of our drip. So what I mean is that we're going to follow that shape and just draw another line. And we're going to continue to do that until we get to the very top of the paper. So once again, you want to go nice and slow, probably slower than you want to. 
I'm just tracing that area around my drip. Okay, now I'm just gonna keep doing that until we get to the very top of the paper. here's where it'll get a little tricky. So what I'm doing there is drawing my line, stopping when I get to the top, and then imagining that that line continues, and then come back down where my paper is again. We've done something similar to this before with overlapping, so it's just the same thing. Stopping at the end of the paper, and then imagining that line continues. Okay, so we're going to color this one in before outlining the others or else it'll get confusing. So Jen Stark would often color her drips in using the colors of the rainbow. So like one would be red, then the next would be orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And she would also do some in black and white, and we're going to do both today. So to color my drips in, I'm going to use markers, but you can of course use crayons or colored pencils if you prefer. So I'm just going to stick with that color scheme that I mentioned. Okay, so now let's start doing the lines on the other drips. So for this one, just doing the same thing that we did for the first one. So we're going to draw our line that goes around the area. And when it comes to a drip right here, just stop, pretend that that line continues, and then come over to the other side. So I'm just going to keep doing that till I get to the top of the paper.
now I'm going to color the strip in black and white. So you want to take a black marker and you're going to color in every other one. So you'll color one in black, then leave the next one white, and then color the next one black, and so on. So I'm sure that you all can probably guess what we're going to do on the last strip. Just the same thing. We're going to outline the area of it first till we get to the top. And then for this one, I'm going to color it in with the bright colors. So for this last portion, there are two things that you can do, okay? So the first option would be what I'm about to show you, and that is to cut out this bottom part of the paper, or you can finish coloring the whole thing in. So I'm going to show you both. And if you decide to cut this white part off of your paper, please, please, please be careful. And also make sure you have an adult present. So to cut areas that are curved like that, you can see I'm kind of turning the paper as I'm cutting. So that'll give you like a nice round shape to your cut. So I'm just going to cut this whole bottom part out. Once again, being very careful and taking my time, making sure to keep my fingers away from the scissors. And this can be a little bit tricky 
like I said, to make sure it gets a nice kind of curve to your paper when cutting, you just want to turn the paper slowly. Just like that. And once you finish cutting that off, it'll really start to look like a drip. It looks really cool. Looks like a bunch of colors that are just dripping down. So that's the first thing you can do. And now I will show you the second one. So this is the second option. If you don't want to cut your paper, you can make the bottom half of the paper like a drip. So we'll just be outlining the area again, like we did with the others, like so. And then I'm going to continue to do that till I get to the bottom of the paper. And then I'm going to color it in with my bright colors. So here is the second option completed. Looks nice and colorful and fun. Then I'll show you the first one again where we kind of cut the bottom part off to make it look like a drip. Also super fun. So it's up to you which one you want to do. I hope that you all have fun and that you enjoy creating your drips and I cannot wait to see your incredible artwork. Bye everyone.